Budapest, the capital of Hungary. We are here on a three night uh, trip, but we spent one day in Vienna yesterday. There's a lot of things that we're going to show you in this video. Um, Tom, yes. what was your favourite part? Favourite part so far has been the food. The food here is absolutely Yeah, amazing. we'll show you a lot of food. We're big foodies. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but I used to live here a few uh, years ago and uh, there's a few little bits of local knowledge that I have. Uh, so we thought it would be nice to film this off the beaten tracks tour of Budapest that includes a few um, local delicacies and stuff that locals would do as well as visiting some of the biggest attractions such as the Citadel. Uh, we've seen uh, beautiful uh, buildings so we've been to the Market Hall which was absolutely lovely. Uh, again related to food. Um, um, this video is um, kind of part one uh, B, we've got part 1A which is a blog post uh, that we wrote about our first, the first half of our first day here which is going to be linked down below. Um, the reason for that is that we literally got the idea to film this halfway through our first day. There's a lot of really useful information about uh, money and uh, where to buy travel tickets and how to travel in Budapest in that blog post so make sure that you do check that out as well. Yeah check it out, let us know how we're doing, give us some feedback as well because we literally just started filming it because we thought it would be fun. Hopefully it's a little bit funny but informative. We want you to be able to come to Budapest and have a good time and know where to meet. So, enjoy! elected not to climb up the horrible amount of stairs. But we did walk over the bridge, so we feel as though we've learned tonight's particular gouillage. Looking forward to gouillage? Good. And that is the funicular station. In my opinion, not enough funiculars in the world. We're going to go to the toilet and there was a woman who was stood outside of the toilet who had a white tampon on and I don't know if I have to pay her or if she's an assistant and I don't want assistance. She's a scary lady <laughs> and I need money. I only have some money. I'm really tempted to just let you go. Going. So I need 250 coins. I have 100 foreign. I can use 150. You can beg. <laughs> half? Half a toilet? A, a malfunctioning hand dryer which just had a piece of wire and a toilet roll underneath <laughs> and I've been handed coins that are absolutely worthless about five cents each one of my uh, favorite things to do I was just saying this to Tom but whenever I'm in a really touristy area one of my favorite things to do is just photobomb people's pictures and just pull like a really funny face like that. <laughs> I just I was just thinking I wonder how many pictures over the year how many people's pictures have I ruined but hey at least <laughs> at least they have something funny to look at
Um, if you ever want to visit Budapest, the best way to get around is actually public transport and it's really cheap. So we got this kind of daily ticket, which only cost about 1,654 and you use it to go on any transport that includes uh, underground and boats as well. Um, you can get these from any metro station that you find. It's a ticket machine in English and a bunch of other different languages um, and it's the easiest way to get around. So. sounds like there is an uprising happening just over there. Can't see the uprising, but can hear megaphones. If we don't make it back, vive la revolution. Me and Dora have decided we shall be your correspondents in this adventure, and as such we'll investigate. Now knowing Dora, she's very likely to join the cause, even if she's not entirely sure what the cause is. Freudian slip there. <laughs> Theodora Hallett, professional oppressor. Now that is going to be my wrestling name. The professional oppressor. Damn. I think we've joined a protest. I think so. Do you know what we're protesting? No. I don't, I don't, I don't know. We've decided to kind of go home uh, because things were starting to get a bit animated and people were shouting and. <laughs> Protesting, generally yeah, speaking, yeah, that's kind of what happened at a protest. Chanting things, and there's so many political parties here that it's really hard to tell what it's about. I'm pretty sure I heard some people talking about it being the anti-slavery movement, but you just never know. We finally found the place where we can get the Hungarian chimney gate to put the collar. Just try and see if it's nice. We'll report on it. This is amazing. Kind of like a brioche. Style dough. But thinner. Plenty of yeast. It's very nice. And we got the cinnamon version. It's amazing. This is like great outside cold food, which is exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. I really missed it. I used to have it all the time when we lived in Hungary. Really, really nice. Definitely must try. They're great. This is the view from the other side of the river. It was a peaceful protest. Glad to be out of there now. We have discovered that Hungarians do have a real love of mulled wine. Observe. Two large vats of mulled wine. We're in the on the hunt at the moment for Guyash. Uh, we will update you. So here we have Guyash, which is absolutely delicious. Surprisingly smooth and quite oily, actually. Very good. What do you think? And here we have what look like chicken thighs with gnocchi and this is a chicken with paprika, sour cream, a little bit of pepper, tomato and now we have strudel.
Good morning. Good morning. It's our third and final day in Budapest and we've decided since we live uh, in the Jewish quarter, we've decided to go and try some Jewish food for breakfast. Bagels. So we found this really nice bagel shop that's about 15 minute walk from our hotel. So we're doing a morning walk and having some bagels. It's going to be great. I'm going to get cream cheese. Very authentic. <laughs> um, we'll see what the selection is and we'll let you know. You know how there's a reason for every sign? Yes. Like, you know, keep off the grasses because people are walking on the grass? Mm -hmm. Well... Oh, hungry. So, now we've just checked out of our hotel and we left our bags there and we are on the way to see... The Citadel. The Citadel. So one thing we didn't get to see um, on our birthday here. Yeah. So, we're gonna walk. Um, well, we're gonna take public transport. Uh, we're gonna use the metro and then walk up the side of the hill. So, we're here, um, but we decided to go see something else. See church that was built in a cave so it was built in the rock cave church cave church <laughs> mm. so we wanted to go in but you can't take pictures in there so or film <laughs> um, but the scenery is really nice and if you do want to come and see the inside of a church built in the rock then definitely do yep. it's 600 foreign for admissions for adults and I think 400 for children we're gonna go and see the citadel you can't really see but <laughs> that's it's a really very good. steep hill very, very steep. steep hill and we're gonna climb all the way up top nice and slowly Tom, guess what? What? You're my number one! <sighs> Dora's inside. <laughs> And there's no children in there, just a bunch of grown-ups just jumping on trampolines. It's fun. It's really fun. I'm gonna go as well when we come back because, let's be honest, trampolines. to ditch our scarves and hats because it's really hot <laughs> I mean it's not hot outside but because we have to go up the hill obviously we're boiling <laughs> it's a really nice view though and the weather is glorious Up 
That wasn't an easy walk. No, no, it wasn't. But uh, definitely right there. But here's the monument. There she is. I think I should probably mention I'm not actually Hungarian, so if you see me butchering some of the pronunciations and some of the words, uh, do apologise. I know I said I lived here, but um, it was only for a couple of years. That's the backstory to that. that you do not come at lunchtime. No, it was horrible. <laughs> it's really full um, because food is really nice and everybody wants to eat here, obviously. learning all the lingo. I can't speak Hungarian any more than what I could before I came here, uh, but I know so much more about this beautiful city um, and it is, it's been an absolutely fantastic few days. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. It was our first really spontaneous attempt at doing a travel uh, vlog, but I think we quite like it. We might, we might keep doing it because we travel quite a lot, but yeah, make sure you check our blog post down below and let us know if there's anything that we've missed. Yep. See you later guys. Bye. Bye.